And we're back with the Brosian and Quang 2 play two. And since it's been well, like almost three months or so, more probably, I don't know. Uh well, I'm gonna just gonna recap what happened in the last episode. In the last episode we did an optional boss which gives us the box breaker, which allows us to break stuff nearby. And we also got to uh, sh uh, show you how to get Raytania, I mean Planet Tobano. No, wait, that's this planet. Never mind. It's one of the planets. It's, yeah, Planet Tabora. That's what it calls. And we also got a few ship upgrades and did the ship mission that we needed to go to get to this planet. And right now, I'm rashing the shit out of this broker because I don't like the cover. <laughs> How dare a rocket be red? <laughs> And white! How dare they! How but dare no. they take Ranger's colors! Yeah, but the real reason why I was doing that is because you get a skill point from destroying the rocket, all the four rockets. So yeah, and apparently we are in a tour. Yeah, there's also a skill point for that. Yeah, if you get all the... Um... Children? Well, they're not all children, NS. If you get all the um, people in the tour without killing them, without getting them killed, rather, uh, you get a skill point. Yep. There's a lot of skill points in this freaking planet, god damn it! Now, the problem is, I actually didn't get this skill point even though I was trying to, but incidentally, when I was trying to get this rocket skill point, I incidentally killed one of the two. Yeah, we're gonna see that right about. Yeah, it's yeah, it's in this rocket here. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I should have go for the ground pound. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> God uh, damn it! Poor, poor, poor person. Yes. Okay, it's a robot. No one cares. Used about it. We robots. have lift off. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> I didn't go. <laughs> So, all these rockets are pretty much saying that, uh, well, they're pale rockets, except for the last one, or at least almost. But they are all the same color. <laughs> they look all the same. Why? Actually, I take that back. I forget. Uh, I forgot to say one thing. That, uh, depending what is the last rocket that you, that you destroyed, the last rocket will go into space. It's not the, this one, it can be any one as long as it's the last one you freaking destroyed. Okay. Well, I'm gonna miss you, rocket! Farewell! Bon voyage! We will never see you again in this part whatsoever! Also, you're gonna do something here, uh, which is gonna be in a couple seconds. Yes, um, after the, uh, the reason why I also am waiting for Fijuated to finish his tier is because if you fall Fijuated to Chambers, which I don't know why he does it when he can teleport, but anyways, if you go into this chamber, you can find a Platinum Bolt. He doesn't even go into the room! <laughs> he just disappeared! Just decided I'm gonna open this place just to make it work that I have an office. Well, you don't even have a desk. Anyways, electrolyzer time. Yes, simple puzzles. Yeah, it's simple puzzles. We don't really need to talk about these puzzles. Yeah, really so who cares? Yeah. Why do I imagine there be fanfiction about the Literalizer puzzles? <laughs> Why there be a fanfiction about that? Why? I don't know, there's fanfiction for everything! <laughs> uh, Destroy fiction. everything to get money! <laughs> yes, pretty much. Oh god, this is so silly. Why there's a fanfiction about that? I don't know, there's always a fanfiction for everything! Hey, and there's a rocket! I just like how we got that skill point, and then, whoop, the rocket just falls. It's like, oh, well, we got a skill point, I'm no longer needed. Bye bye, crew world. <laughs> yes. Obviously, we're not going there yet. No, screw you, if I try the puzzle, I'm going this way, because I want to get one of the coolest weapons in Resident Clank games. You've been in Resident Clank history. No, games. Alright. Oh, I actually remember watching um, these funny outtakes for Ratchet & Clank 1. They were right hilarious. 
It was like these live action clips of the people using the same kind of oh, weapons. Oh, oh, I saw those. Those were advertisements that they use in, in the America commercials. Remember that one? Uh, remember that one where he turned one of his friends into a chicken? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the reason why I come back here is because I forgot to buy the spider glove or the spider bot spider, glove. But spider bot glove. Yeah, but we're just gonna call it spider glove because calling spider bot glove is just a really long and unnecessary. And will be redundant. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyways, the spider glove, what it does, it's pretty much like the Visabon gun, except, uh, well, it's, uh... It's worse. Yeah, it's also not as powerful as it was in with the Visa Bomb in the first game. But, uh, just like the Visa Bomb gun, you actually need the Spider Glove to get some Platinum Bolts. When using the tractor beam, try strafing as we're gonna see in a few minutes later in this part, I believe. Yeah, screw you, uh, helping person, uh, I don't know. Yeah, screw you, sheep. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this sheep is totally not a clue what are we gonna get in this factory. I'm totally dumbfounded, I wonder what it could be! Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, um, what you have to do here in the, the gimmick on this freaking factory is actually you have to use these platforms to actually cover the laser so you can pass through. And we can use this robot to, well, do the same thing as we did in, in the previous planet long ago. Hey, he's after all the inspector bot. Thank God this this Robert investig- uh, I forgot what name. It's Petrobot. Yeah, it's Petrobot. I always saying investigation for some reason. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, we... if you use, if you use these platforms, you can get up here. As soon as I get up there. Yep, here. Yep. Oh, we're gonna meet him. Yes, oh, we're no. gonna. But first, let's kill someone. <laughs> yeah. It's always fun. Oh God. Ugh. Silly rocket thing, why the hell are you in this place of all places? This place is really bad to fight this guy, it really is. It's awkward. Fuck you, I have a sniper! As vaporizer. Yes. Now that this is a vaporizer, it absolutely changes nothing except for the color of the beam and the color of the weapon and the fact that it's more powerful. Hammer of power detecting no defects. <sighs> Ratchet of Velde. I knew this day would come. Oh god. Draw your last enemy mind. You don't like this guy, I you don't the you. Name of Captain well, when a character acts this so stereotypical nerdy. Sweet death. Especially when it's a character that you a fan of a character that you don't I like. <sighs> Come on, Clank. Let's get going. W wait You shamed the greatest superhero who ever lived! He was a fraud. What do you want from us, sir? Hmm. Ooh, ooh! How about some cool Quark stuff from your galaxy? Trade you for this armor magnetizer. I believe that device is designed to attract. So bombs. pretty much, this guy is asking for a trade for a quark figurine for the armor magnetizer. So yeah, but right now we don't have the quark uh, figurine, so we have to come back later. Hopefully, a certain plumber that we know has it. <laughs> Jeez, it feels like I'm talking to some fanboy of Star Wars. <laughs> yes, let's not talk about the fans of the Star Wars. Anyways, the Vaporizer, I was gonna say that uh, Vaporizer is one of the most powerful weapons in the Roger and Clank 2. I would say the fifth mo most powerful weapon, actually. Uh, also, as we saw there before, I forgot to say that there was a Platinum Bolt, but I think you could get that because, well, I got the Platinum Bolt. Yeah, they saw it. I don't think they need to see any more. Well, yeah. to be fair, that freaking platinum bolt doesn't really have an animation for some weird reason. Here's a simple puzzle using the tractor beam and just putting the thing to break off the wall. Pretty simple. Well, it has a rocket in it. I wonder if it's gonna blow if I put this thing in this wall. <laughs> Do I need to point out the law? Yes, again. As the uh, uh, the infobot again. Yeah. What the infobot? The inspector oh, bot. Yeah, oh, the inspector yeah, bot. Yes, yeah, but uh, now I, RC said it wrong first. Now I'm saying it wrong. 
Yeah, and it's the, totally the wrong button, of the wrong game too. <laughs> There's no infobots on this game except for one. Yeah, one I infobot. I know, I know. And they never mention it as an infobot, but we're just gonna see that later. But for now, let's kill this guy because I need this space. Yes, we need there the we rocket go. tube or whatever tube it is. Oh, I failed. Damn it. <laughs> Anyways, we can use this platform to get further up here as soon as I decided to move, by the way. There we go. Thank you, uh, Pass Me, for being so cooperative. Okay, here we have a hole that we can use a spider glove on, which we can get the platinum bolt, as we're gonna see right now. Yep. And I, I, I already said this before, but I am saying again, uh, there was another platinum bolt that we could have used the spider glove, but since that was actually before we could buy it, I'm not gonna show that. But I can already spy, so it's just easy peasy, so. It's not that hard to get this freaking putting No! The spider glove can't get the freaking thing. Damn it. Instead of that, I'm just gonna destroy this right next to Roger. Yes! And and that's absolutely nothing. I know. What the hell? God damn it, this is the third platinum bolt that we get in this freaking part. <laughs> and I was gonna say it's the second one with no animation. Yeah, it's the second one. Well, that one that we said an excuse. Blah, blah, blah. Language. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I was going to say that the uh, platinum bolt probably doesn't have animation because it probably the space of the place was really too small to do that animation. So they decided to cut it there. Or at least I think so. Yeah, I mean, it would be kind of pointless to see not for every platinum, every platinum bolt. Yeah, I guess that's true, but you know. We always want to make sure we got that platinum belt. Even though there's a message that says so. Anyways, we uh, here have a rocket, you just have to put the small one in the small one, and the big one in the big one. Simple I need to move that. the big one out the way so the small one can pass Herpiderp. Yes, to be more complex. Oh, joy. Yeah, this one is a bit tricky actually. You actually have to use that uh, moving, um, whatever they call, uh, to actually use this platform to actually cover your lasers. The problem here is, these lasers do a lot of freaking damage, so if you get hit, you can die almost instantly. Yeah. But thank you for me and my dazzle glitching for some reason. I can actually um, see better. Yeah. Well, on YouTube maybe. But, yeah. anyways, like I was saying, um,. If you're, I recommend you guys jumping like I just did, hopping around. But if you don't do, uh, you can always use the charge boots and charge to the other place and then die because, well, you're probably not going to survive for starters. And uh, due to some problem in the game, I don't know, uh, it, the checkpoint is before that, before the laser part, but the lasers will be turned off if you already made it through. I don't know why that happened, it just happened. I guess SNX just feels like going easy on people. Oh boy. Yeah. Do I need to explain this puzzle that you're seeing no, right now? No, no. no. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's that. Yeah, that's pretty it's much it. It's so it. easy, even Derpy Hoofs can get it. Yes, even I just seen to get this puzzle. Oh! Anyways, this is all for this part, so we see you in the next one. Bye-bye.